this is TCGM, and I'm back with some more Redstone Minecraft shenanigans. Okay, so the story behind this whole contraption here, inside this big building, with apparently seamless glass, is that one of my subscriptions, uh, people I subscribe to, not sure what he calls himself, uh, his YouTube username is Mastastan, but he keeps saying his, his name is Carl Zors in the video, so whatever, Carl Zors, Master Stan, whatever. He came up with some kind of idea, which was a locale animal cooker thing idea. It basically puts their head up into the lava by you via minecart. So in that vid in the video he posted, he uh said something about someone making an automatic uh cooker or harvester or whatever you want to call it for cows and animals and shit. And I pretty much went Challenge accepted. And here's the result. So this is a fully automatic cow cooker. And it doesn't really work well with pigs, but it can work. So I'm gonna kill that one. Uh oh god, that's way too many right now. If there's a lot of cows in the upper area when you start this machine up then it really really gets messed up so now I shall flip the on switch I will give you an demonstration and then show you exactly how it works ah and there we have one two cows that was quick flip the switch and there goes the minecart which, which is with nothing in it that will happen the first run around but then there's this first cow and the second cow thank you that might happen sometimes just kill the cow and it'll continue working and that cow just died and its debris fell into this area so the cart should be moving huh that was weird there we go Okay, that was weird. That wasn't supposed to happen. There we go. There's the cow. Okay. Watch the cow. Watch where it goes. It goes into that. Into that. And the debris gets pushed down through this. Into this uh, water thing. I'm not exactly sure how much uh, steak slash leather this makes per hour or minute or whatever but it's it, it's pretty hefty turnout so yeah uh, I call it the cow cooker 5000 so now that you've seen it in action I think we should take a ride show you how it really works um, that's funny, I just turned it on. Okay, so now it's off. Right? And the off switch is triggered to A, pull this uh, powered rail from here, which effectively stops this minecart in its tracks because there's an unpowered powered rail right there. And I just broke the minecart. Unpowered power rail right there, which breaks the... Not breaks as in kaboom but breaks as in stops the minecart and until this is in play until this piston is extended that uh, powered rail does not get any power now it also turns off the, uh, the little redstone torch that's underneath there that would power that powered rail and that powered rail so yeah and then it goes up here extends this piston which seals this drop from the mob spawner area off. That's the on off switch. So if I turn it on, it just turns it on. Easy peasy. If there's two cows up here, then kill them both. No, actually only kill one, but I just kind of messed up there. Only kill one cow. So that there's one in there. Only one at all times. There it goes. Ta-da! So, turn it off and show you how it works. 
exactly how it works. Or rather tell you. I don't know. Whatever. So once the mine card is powered, it goes down here with the cow, goes through here, goes into here, and burn and touches the head of the cow into this lava, which effectively sets it on fire. And then it burn it takes it in the mine car cart, and the cow is still burning, mind you. Takes it all the way over here, la di da di da. This is time extension kind of thing. It just extends the travel time of the minecart so that it, the death of the cow is timed to and to when it's uh, inside this area, usually right here. Then so it goes around here, goes along here, la di da di da. Enters here, which uh, suffocates it for one second. I think it is. I'm not sure, but it suffocates it just enough so that when it hits here it dies dies right there then the debris falls out everywhere over here however it can't um, can't fall out like up here because it doesn't go up and it spreads out over here now normally that would be a problem because mine carts can't mine carts cannot be mine cart tracks cannot be moved by the blocks underneath them however <clears throat> I figured out that this pit that if you make pistons Sticky pistons push these cart rails over onto another block. That'll push the items over as well. And then, then if you and then if you pull the uh, rails back, the <coughs> the debris obviously will not be pulled back. And this these blocks will be free to move without damaging the trip. The the rails. God, what is wrong with my voice today? Ah, oh, my speaking. My speaking is me stop. So after these trigger, this triggers for, uh, I don't know, I think it's a second, might be 1.2 seconds, and the debris drops down into this water conveyance, 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 I just made up a word, conveyor, which tr takes, the wa takes the debris all the way over into the collection place where you walk down from up here. And then the cart walk, the cart the cart is what triggers these pistons by this redstone lane. It takes the power over here, la da 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 da, etc. This is a detector rail, and it goes over here, goes up here, and loads into place for the next <coughs> cow. However, it's continuously going, so it doesn't stop for the cow. What happens is the detector rail f charges up this edge detector. Yep. Edge, another edge detector. These things are so darn useful. Which then, after the charge is gone, discharges the uh, charge it built up into this little thing, which s momentarily uh, retracts these sticky pistons, pulling back these this uh, these these uh, stone things just enough for one or two cows to just long enough for one or two cows to get to fall down and then be pushed into the minecart at the precise time when the minecart is right here it's yeah and there's a holy f what is with all these t cows oh okay so that's the cow that's how it works that's the, that's how the cow cooker 5000 works and I made myself a pair of huh, not a pair a set of leather armor from all the leather I have and I have a lot 33 and I've only been doing I've only had this thing going for about 10 minutes so it makes a lot and it's cooked too so that's no more coal for you need needed for you guys to use okay so that's that and yep there will be a link in the description to the map I will port this onto as well as a schematic file however because world edit still hasn't figured out how to do pistons correctly you're gonna have to arrange these pistons in the correct uh, correct places instead of just being pushed down but I'm pretty sure you guys can figure that out. Okay, this is TCGM, signing off. Whoa, holy crud, where is that lag coming from? What the heck? Oh, okay, that was weird.
Well, this is TCG. I'm signing off. See you later.